All right, guys, so we got the Ranger, the front end all buttoned up, the rear end all buttoned up with the uh, welded rear diff and all that stuff. So I guess we're gonna hop in this thing, take this thing for a cruise, see how it drives, see how it runs, and uh, let's go rip on it. spin see what happens I hope the audio is a little better um, I changed the exhaust a little bit so now it doesn't drone underneath the truck it's uh, everything's kicked out the back now so we'll see get some gas for my lawnmower. Might as well take this thing for a spin. <coughs> you can see the intake's really loud. Rear end. Woo! So this is my first welding test. And I can already tell now not a fan of it. touch it um, but it's fine for now uh, but I'll change that I'm sure I'll sure I'll end up doing something and dumping it out the back to uh, make it a little quieter
weather will clear up a little bit and I can mow my yard today. Um, we've gotten quite a bit of rain. So I don't know if I'll get the back mode because the back turns into a swamp. fives on the back of it so uh, it's not necessarily liking that I'll get back home double check all the love nut torque make sure all that stuff's good this thing definitely needs a converter I'm sitting there having to stand on this brake pedal to get it to, to not move it just wants to push right through the brakes and uh, drive off. I'd even go for like a 323 or something like that 321 I'm not sure what the gear ratios for the Ford stuff is um, you know but I could find something like that um, it would be better for driving on the street and the highway and stuff also if for some reason we decide to maybe throw some boost at this thing um, that would be ideal gear I've thought, I've thought about doing the turbo, um, doing like a budget build on it. Mainly, I'm not trying to make as much power as the Boost Knuckle does, but I mean, if I could make, I don't know, 600 wheel or something with this thing, it would be, it'd be stupid fun. So it may 
takes very little power because it won't spin these 26s very well. And if you stab the gas, it uh, it kind of weight transfers pretty good and plays the weight back. She likes it, I love it. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Uh, you know, got a little short test drive in. I'm going to go in and uh, I'll uh, check out this uh, data log, see how everything looks. Um, I really thought about trying to get a draggy since the tracks are closed right now. Um, just to be able to make some tuning adjustments and you know use the draggy kind of as a tool to see if my adjustments make any difference or not um, and since this thing makes such little power it'll be really easy to determine if it makes any difference or not whenever I make any tuning changes um, but anyways that's gonna do it for this video guys thanks for following along uh, don't forget comment like subscribe hit the bell um, you know get all the notifications we'll see you guys later